Hi, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. And this weekend we got to do some dad crafting, some kid crafting, at man crafting. So what we came up with was this one of a kind, powder coated white. Swirl neon painted. Swirl neon painted with a... Monogram and clear coated. And we're going to show you what it took for us to do that. So stay tuned. Feel comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. You ready? No. Why not? Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. So watch along as Sarah puts on a base coat of polar white powder coating from Prismatic. She's doing a great job. She's making sure she has good coverage. She's using the Yeti stand to spin and make sure she feels like she's got great coverage on all sides. Sarah is 11 years old. We're taking all the proper precautions, making sure she's wearing safety equipment. Now she's taking out the match pen scan pen to make sure she feels like she has good coverage. Very good attention to detail. Couldn't ask for a better apprentice. Now the heat work gets left up to daddy. I'm putting it in the oven. We are going to let this cure for 75% and I'm checking here to make sure that the cup has reached part metal temperature and once it does we start the timer for 8 minutes. The cure time on this particular powder is 12 minutes. So make sure when you're curing something to 70-75% that you're not just picking some random number, that you're actually looking at what that part metal temperature is and then curing from that point forward. So we pulled it out of the oven, we're going to let it cool, and now I'm putting on my daughter's monogram. Of course we sped this up so you don't get bored with uh, the process. And next we're going outside and we're going to be using some fluorescent paints. First thing we're going to do is shake everything up real well. Thanks for coming to visit Zoe. Now here I'm trying to put a cap on. I wanted to use a sacrificial cap, but unfortunately that system did not work well. And we ended up having to do it without the cap. There's got to be a better way and I'm going to figure it out. Maybe Ryan's got an idea, but at this point we're leaving the cap idea behind. So here we put the various fluorescent paints in and I think at this point we were doing an okay job. Sarah was putting the paints in and adding them to the bucket and she had the cans fairly close but I think I probably should have added a little bit more water to the bucket so that the cans could be right in the water almost. After I saw Ryan's tips video I realized that we could have done this much better. My 15 year old has pitched a fit that she didn't get a chance to do this. We'll have a second run at it. She's going to put her take on it and we should have a nice result to show here probably in the next few days. I have to say though that with all the effort we put in on this project that Sarah's cup turned out really quite amazing once it was clear coated. I would not recommend using these neon fluorescent colors unless you have the ability to do a clear coat. This paint just was really kind of chalky and, and not a very good feel to the hand until we had the clear coat on it. And as a matter of fact, it didn't really have much of a shine to it at all. And this was our first attempt at putting on the paint. And unfortunately, uh, she got the cup about halfway in and realized that uh, she didn't have enough pressure on it to get it underneath the water all in one try. So we ended up having to do it a second time. And fortunately, because of the powder coat, we were able to just wipe this off with some VM&P naphtha and recoat it. And this is the second attempt. And here she's removing the monogram. And... Now she's putting on the clear coat, again, wearing her safety equipment, being a very conscientious applicator, using the Yeti stand to spin the cup. Keep in mind that stand is a little bit warm, so for her little fingers, she had to be very careful spinning it. Once she feels like she has a good coverage, it's back in the oven for full cure. At this point, I'm gonna be checking periodically to see if I've actually got the cup up to what's called PMT, or part metal temperature. And once we've reached part metal temperature, we will 
set the timer and let this part cure for a total of 30 minutes. This particular clear coat has a 30 minute cure time. It's a low temperature cure. And whenever I'm using a product that I don't know how it's gonna perform under high heat conditions, I always wanna use the lowest level of clear coat that I can find. If I could have found a 275 degree clear coat, I would have used 275. The particular clear coat I'm using is 300. I've also used 325 and 340. And both of those work for most things, but I have had some vinyls that uh, red, uh, white, yellow, those colors seem to be particularly temperature sensitive. If I could find a vinyl that could handle the heat, I would just use you know, Casper Clear or one of the other high temperature clear coats that cure in a very short period of time. Now we're taking the cup out of the oven and you're able to see the finished product. The colors really pop with the clear coat on. Sarah was extremely happy with the work she did. Here's a good close up picture of the colors and the monogram. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have an opportunity to share your hobbies and skills with your children. And if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comment section. If you like this video, please like it. If you haven't, please subscribe. As always, have a great day. Hey, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. Say it like you're alive. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad. Hi, I'm Sarah. And this weekend we got to do some man crafting, some kid crafting, some dad crafting. And what we produced was this one of a kind, Monogram. powder coated, monograms. Swirl. Clear coated. Mm -hmm. On an Ozark, no, I'm sorry, this is a mossy oak cup. So let's try that one more time. Okay, you ready? Hi, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. And this weekend we got to do some man crafting, some dad crafting, some kid crafting. And this is a... Monogrammed. It was, and this was a powder coated white covered with a swirl, neon swirl paint. Neon swirl paints with a monogram and clear coated. All right, you wanna try it one more time? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Chad. And I'm Sarah. And this weekend we got to do some dad crafting, some kid crafting at man crafting so what we came up with was this one-of-a-kind powder coated white swirl neon painted swirl neon painted with a monogram and clear coated and we're going to show you what it took for us to do that so stay tuned feel comfortable with that Let's see what it looks like. You ready? No. Why not? <laughs> 